All right, here we go. Ben J of the New Boys. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, brother? Everything good, man. Everything good. So we haven't uh, heard from you in a little while. Yeah, I've been ducked off doing my thing. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get into all that, but I want to get into the whole new boy story because I think it's just a a very dope story overall. So thank you. You grew up in both Inglewood and Victorville. Uh, yeah, I, I'm actually from Los Angeles, California, like around the Crenshaw and Florence area, you know. Uh, the High Park area, if y'all familiar with, you know, 64th, you mm -hmm. know, we lived in an abandoned house, you know what I'm saying? Shout we lived in an mom. abandoned house? Yeah, my mom's when we was a kid, you know what I'm saying? And then we moved to the jungles, you know Inglewood. what I'm saying, from the jungles, you know what I'm saying? My sister is born from sending out of the hospital, so in Inglewood, so my granny lived out there, you know what I'm saying? So, but that's that L.A. stuff, you know, I went to uh, middle school in Long Beach, you know, I was living in L.A., went to middle school in Long Beach, you know what I'm saying? My mom, I don't know what the hell. She was driving Long Beach, everywhere, whatever, but... Well, man. I mean, being in an abandoned house, that's a pretty bad situation. Oh, yeah, when we was kids, you know, my mom, the baby with a baby. Oh, how old was she? My mom had me at 15, mm, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, you trying to figure it out. She had my sister at 20, you know what I mean? But, shit, from there on, I say... Around 2005, we moved to Victorville. You know what I'm saying? So that's when I started with high school. High mm -hmm. school, yeah. I went to like, I went to Lindbergh uh, in Long Beach. I went to Colin Powell, went to Washington Middle School. You know what I'm saying? I went to Paramount Park Middle School. I went to, uh, what do they call it? Paramount, I went to start in Paramount uh, High School. The ninth grade campus, YG was over there. Mm -hmm. We had our little cliques and stuff like that. My clique was Howie Dugan. His clique was X-rated. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy. I didn't even know. You know what I'm saying? But that's crazy that we grew up and, you know what I'm saying, doing our thing. Mm -hmm. But nah, but I moved to Victorville. My mom said, you know, this is a place where I always said I wanted to live because I had family out there. Whatever. They always lived far and shit from the L.A. area. But... That was what was going to keep me out of trouble because I was getting in hell of trouble in L.A. I was a bad dude. So the reason why I went to that many schools is because I kept getting kicked out. <laughs> you right. feel me? I was bad as hell. So I got a story to tell. Did you eventually graduate or did you just get kicked out? And what, in high school? Yeah. I graduated high school. Okay. I graduated high school. I actually went to Victor Valley High School and then I got kicked out the first semester and I went to Hesperia High School. And this is where I felt like, all right, I'm gonna stay here. I wanna, uh, I wanna finish my high school shit here. But then I ended up getting famous. So, uh, <laughs> like that's around 11th grade, the end of 11th grade. So I ended up having to go to home studies. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy. Okay, so so you and Legacy, at what point did you guys hook up? 10th grade. We uh, okay. it was official in 10th grade. You feel me? Uh, Y'all know the story about that, how we met. I ain't gonna go off into that, but I ended up getting kicked out of my class, uh, biology class. I was making fun of this uh, this teacher. He looked kind of slow, retarded, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, he was he was smart, you know what I'm saying? That's why he a teacher, whatever. But, you know, my, you know what I'm saying, clowning ass, I was clowning or whatever. I ended up getting kicked out of my class and went to his biology class. And this nigga was a clown student too, This our teacher. Had a fat ass booty. You know what I'm saying? She was cute as hell. You know what I'm saying? Her name was uh Miss Pow Miss Powell, I think. Something like that, whatever. But you know what I'm saying? He used to always clown. So, you know, I'd be like, man, I'm about to start saying something too. Like about the, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. So me and him got cool. I was hanging with some real niggas, you know what I'm saying, outside of school, named Found Bam ENT. And then for some reason, this nigga, Dominic, he ain't even like me, but he knew the same people, so, because they had studios and shit, like, the town is small, so, you know, I guess he liked doing music, so, you know, he was hanging around these thugs like me, so, we was in, like, a 20-man group, like, called Fan Bam ENT, you know what I'm saying, they was Bloods, Crips, whatever, Dominic, like, a little nerd, you know what I'm saying, you know, It'd be funny and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So I hang out with dude, you know what I mean? So we start rapping together and shit like that. And I wanted to do like other rapping, like rap about girls and shit like that. So that's when I started hanging out with him. He said, I got my own studio at the crib, you know what I'm saying? You can come, you know what I'm saying? I'll be rapping about girls all the time, you know what I'm saying? Instead of shooting niggas and shit that we don't do, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
that's what we was rapping about. Shit we can do. My mom said, man, she went to one of our shows like, this is terrible. <laughs> you feel me? She said, she said, look, son, women buy music. Men don't. You know what I'm saying? And from there on, I, I ran with that and was like, man, bro, I had a little girlfriend. This was my baby mama at the time. She wasn't my baby mama, but like, this is my girlfriend. So I had this, I'm like, man, I want to rap about girls and shit like that. He was like, man, come to my house. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, for sure. Made my first love song, you know what I'm saying? It was horrible. But hey, <laughs> it was like, you make me fall out. <laughs> you make me fall out, but that shit was crazy. Then I did a couple songs with him. We had just a lot of songs, just me and him, me and him, me and him. You know what I'm saying? We wanted to be solo artists or whatever, whatever, but shit, we said, okay, where are we gonna put all these songs that we got together? You know what I'm saying? We was like, all right, let's make a group. You know what I'm saying? Like a group MySpace page. And then we got our own solo pages. So that's what we did. And, and we was like, whichever one blow up, shit, if I blow up first, I'm gonna help you out, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you blow up, help me out. Okay, so were you guys the new boys at that point? Yeah. Why that name? Shit, new kids at the school. Girls like the new boy all the time, you know what I'm saying? Or the new girl. They be like, you see the new girl? You know what I'm saying? I'm about to hop on her or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But Okay. Ooh, you got me under the fire, bro. What you about to grill, <laughs> what you about to grill me with? Uh, all right, so so you guys form a group. You start mm -hmm. doing shit. What actually led to the record deal? <sighs> promoting uh, promoting on uh, MySpace mm. and shit like that. Just us being ourselves. Like, like people be trying to control us and stuff. Like, whatever, whatever. I'm like, nah. We do what we want to do. We uh, release our music, you know what I'm saying, on our, uh, on our page or whatever. And people just like that shit. <laughs> you guys just start going viral. You guys were one of the early, I guess, viral groups. Hell yeah, maybe because of our style. Like, like we look like skaters, you know what I'm saying? Like, only white people was doing that shit, you know what I'm saying? But we was like, fuck that shit. That shit tight. Like, I had white homies, you know what I'm saying? Like, little punk rocker homies, you know what I'm saying, whatever. That style was hard. Like. And like when we when we wear that type of style, it looked like a kind of eighties style. Like you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It looked like a retro style. So right, we cause, ran with it. Because you guys sort of caught that transition when dudes was sagging. Yeah. You know, because for whatever 10, 15 years, dudes had huge jeans, and you know, it's like then there were like the huge t-shirts, the white tees. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was kind of like right before y'all came to, around. Look, and I used the to transition. wear. Look, I used to wear. Look. 3XL toss too. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Me too. 30, 36 jeans, and I don't even fit that, bro. I'm 32, 32. Right. You know what I'm saying? If I wear slacks, I'm like a 31. You feel me? So, 36? <laughs> Hell no. Baggy okay. daddies. So, so you guys go and get a deal with Warner Brothers. Yeah. How big of a deal was it? Huge. Huge. Life changing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were nervous. Okay, and what songs did you have at that point that became singles later on? Your Jerk, uh, shit. We had Your Jerk only. And then we had like a lot of songs like after that, but they was like, I mean, we already had songs that we already had, you feel me? But Your Jerk was the hottest song, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So we was like, all right, let's just put, you know what I'm saying, the songs we already got, you know what I'm saying, together with this song. And shit, we got an album. They was they was thirsty, so you know what I'm saying. We was like, all right, let's just give them what we already got. You know what I'm saying? Here, but then you know what I'm saying. That gave us more time to go create some new shit. So you know what I'm saying. That gave us time to create "Tie Me Down." Right. Well, you're a jerk when platinum. Hell yeah. Out the gate. <laughs> Out the market. Right. And it was already, yeah. That was the early days of labels seeing social media go viral and then picking up on that steam and then. Yeah. Amplifying it. So you now have a platinum single. And then you guys continue to have big singles. Tie Me Down was platinum. Yeah. Huge. Uh, th those were the two off that album, right? Yeah. Yep. And then you guys did Too Cool to Care. Yeah, that shit was and huge. And Backseat went platinum with Chris Brown. Shout out to Backseat with Chris Brown. No, that's not with Chris Brown. Wait. Backseat is with Dev. 
Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, we got better with the lights off. Better with the lights uh, off is Chris Brown. My bad. Chris Brown. No, you good. You good. You good. I got to think about it sometimes. Yeah, yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, better with the lights off was like, <laughs> I kind of felt like y'all was kind of clowning the girl, but not really. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's kind of funny because we was young. You know what I mean? Like, we know what we was doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like then, like if I knew the if I knew the game that I know now, then I would have all the bitches. <laughs> like. All the bitches I ever came across, like, you know what I'm saying? Because the game is just so, like, I got the ism in me, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. But, like, then I was just so green. Like, I was just so green, like, just like, ah, da, 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 you know what I'm saying? And we just rapping about the girls, but, like, you know what I'm saying, talking shit or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, I guess, you know what I'm saying, people like that shit because we didn't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess... Girls like that even more when the dude don't give a fuck, you feel me? So, hey, they like when we talking shit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cursing them out or whatever, shit on the record, fuck it. <laughs> so, you were uh, connected with a bunch of famous females along the way? Yeah, hell yeah. Kiki Palmer? That was my girl. You guys were serious? Shit, not that serious, you know what I'm saying? But we was, uh, I could have made it serious if I was serious about it, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I just felt like she was too young, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? At the time, man, shit. Nobody was fucking with, like, young girls, you know what I'm saying? Until Tiger came out the gate, like, fuck it. <laughs> oh, so she was, what, under 18? She was under 18. I was, like, I just turned 19, so she was, oh, so she was, was, like, uh, 16, 17, one okay. of them. And I'm, like, fuck. I should have been, like, Tiger. I should have been, like, I'd be thinking, like, fuck, nigga, I would have had her now. <laughs> We'd be lit. <laughs> but, uh, you know what I'm saying, that's my, you know what I'm saying, she doing her thing, shout out to Key Palmer, you know what I'm saying, 100 though. 100 though, but if that was my chick now, <laughs> <laughs> shit, 100. Okay, so you guys started to really blow up and have a lot of commercial success, but you said you were sued seven times before you turned 21. Golly, boy. Like, what are we getting sued for? Copyright infringement. Uh, people thinking we jocking him or people pretending like they wrote some of our shit. Like, huh. yeah, just making up shit. But you know what? It is what it is. Okay. Did you guys have to cash out any of those? I really don't remember. We had too much money mm. to even worry about it. So if we lost, we lost. If we won, we won. Okay. I don't but the, the ball keeps rolling. The ball keeps rolling. Let's keep okay. it going, you know what I'm saying? I'm down to get sued. Let's, <laughs> get, let's do it, baby. So at what point did, did you and your partner start to kind of, you know, stop getting along? When me and my partner stopped getting along, I think it was around the Better With The Lights Off video shoot. Uh, we got into a, uh, we got into a, uh, you know what I'm saying? We was going at it. You know what I'm saying? Back at the airport, I think we was leaving Indianapolis. I'm shaking like a motherfucker, bro. Like, I think he about to ask a serious question right now. Like, nigga, what? <laughs> but, uh, nah. Uh, the homie, uh, look, this what went down. You know what I'm saying? We was in Indianapolis, leaving Indianapolis and shit. Like, we ain't had no money. Like, I ain't had no money, but my dad had some money. You know what I'm saying? My dad was our road manager. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, Pop, you can pay for my bag. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He said, Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? Go pay for my bag. You know what I mean? Whatever. Legacy got some money. You know what I'm saying? On him. Whatever. And we got our hype man. It wasn't three of us, it was two of us. It's always been two people in the new boys, if people don't know. So, it was, you know what I'm saying? We just had a hype man, you know what I'm saying, named Tevin. You feel me? But, uh, you know what I'm saying? He didn't have no money. So, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I don't need no hype man, you know what I'm saying? A long time ago, like when we first started, you know what I'm saying? You know, I asked him, you know what I'm saying? Yo, bro, you want to come on the road? You know what I'm saying? Shit, because this dude was shy. My partner, he was shy as fuck. So, you know what I'm saying? We need somebody, you know what I'm saying, else to amp him up. Like, I can do as much as I can do, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, shit, <laughs> you know what I mean? Shit, bring somebody else on the road, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Be live with me, you know what I'm saying? Because he not really live, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know what I'm saying? After a while, you know what I'm saying? I start seeing a relationship, you know what I'm saying? They start getting closer and closer, whatever, like, 
some gay shit, but it, it wasn't gay, you know what I'm saying? They not gay, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you know what I mean, like, you know what I mean? Like, the fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is my bro, you know what I mean? These niggas isn't like, we brothers, you know what I'm saying? Because they look alike, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, nigga, whatever, <laughs> you know what I mean? Doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? It's me and my pops on the road, you know what I'm saying? We do our thing, you know what I'm saying? It almost was kind of like the light skin versus the dark skin, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was like, what the fuck? Why is it getting like that? You know what I'm saying? So now I'm feeling some type of way because, you know what I'm saying, we supposed to be making money. You know what I'm we supposed to be serious about this shit. We ain't supposed to be letting nothing break us up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm starting to like, I don't need no hype man. We, we, you know what I'm saying? We can leave it back. We can do this shit ourselves. But now he want him on the road more and more and more and more. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, like, fuck. It is what it is. You know, I'm cool with everything. You know what I'm saying? So, shit. Uh, but like right now, like, you know what I'm saying? My pop about to pay for my bag, so since you want him on the road, you can pay for his bag. You feel me? So, <sighs> that's what that was. All right, so he had his headphones on, playing like he don't hear us. Like we like, you know what I'm saying, talking to him, like whatever, 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 you know what I'm saying? And then like he played like stupid looking in the air, da 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 da, walking around, start walking off, like he just, you know what I'm saying, he's got his bag done, but. He, he forget, but we just, you know what I'm saying, just discuss this shit, you feel me? Like, bro, you know what I'm saying? But don't play stupid, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, if you ain't gonna do it, you ain't gonna do it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, my pops don't got no money already, first of all, you know what I'm saying, to do this shit, to pay for his bag, if he only had enough to pay for my bag. So, you know what I'm saying, whatever. He in the red now, some shit like that. I don't even think he was in the red, but he had zero dollars or whatever, but you know what I'm saying? This nigga walking off, and I'm just looking like, this nigga crazy, why is he being like this? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, that's some bitch shit, like, whatever, whatever. And he hear me saying all this shit, because he not listening to no goddamn music. He just ignoring me, you know what I'm saying? He ignoring us, like, you know what I'm saying? Pay for this nigga bad, you know what I'm saying? This nigga got his hand out, like, you know what I'm saying? He want a tip, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This nigga want this tip, because he uh, doing all this shit, you know what I'm saying? We late, you know what I'm saying? First of all, you know what I'm saying? We late, so. The man who helping us with our bags, you know what I'm saying? He want a tip, he want the money, you know what I'm saying? Listen, what we go do, da 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 this, da 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 hurry up, chop, chop, chop. So my pop like, all right, fuck it, I'll pay for his bag, you know what I'm saying? He, now my pop mad, you know what I'm saying? Because he ain't got no money, you know what I'm saying? He broke, nigga. This nigga is super overdrawn now, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we be spending money, you know what I'm saying? So shit. Super overdrawn, this nigga walking off, you know what I'm saying? Like a buster, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm all pissed off, like, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Why you have my dad like pay for this nigga bag when you said you was gonna do this? This, this is all your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, like nigga, you got dough. You know what I'm saying? You acting like a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We he still acting like he don't hear me. I'm still going off like nigga, he acting like a bitch. He walking through the airport and shit like that. And he said, what he what he said? You always act like you somebody dad. I said I ain't act like I ain't nobody dad, motherfucker. I said you need to handle your shit. Nigga. You need to take care of your business. Like nigga, you said you wanted to. You know what I'm saying? You said he was gonna pay for his bag, pay for his bag, you know what I'm saying? So look, that nigga threw his bags down, said, you always act like somebody dad. And then turned around and charged me, charged me. So I'm like, pow, real fast. Just reflex. In the airport? In the airport. Okay. It's like kind of empty too, you know what I'm saying? In Indianapolis, you know what I'm saying? So I knocked him out and he went flying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. You know what I'm saying? I kind of jumped over top of him and hit him again so he don't get back up. I kind of do that shit, you know what I'm saying? Make sure niggas don't get back up. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Shit. It was, it was, kinda, it was sad, you know what I'm saying? That's my boy, you know what I'm saying? It mean, like, go like that, but we brothers, you know what I'm saying? Bros fight, you know what I'm saying? So, shit. I mean, if you was going to charge me, you just had to be ready for the consequences. So, you know what I'm saying? I think, you know, he had a black eye and shit like that. So, he had to miss the better with the lights on video shoot. You know what I'm saying? So I feel, oh, because of his black eye. Yeah, so you know, I think he felt some type of way. You know what I'm saying? I was there with Chris Brown. You know what I'm saying? We popping. We got the bitches. You know what I'm saying? It's lit. You know what I'm saying? It's live. And he had to uh, wait till his eye clear to remake it. You know what I'm saying? If his video shoot, Chris wasn't able to show whatever, whatever. But I think he felt some type of way. You know what I'm saying? So. You know what I'm saying? I just want to apologize to my homie, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? It was never like that, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, we got to take care of our responsibilities, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, and we bros, and this is the streets, you know what I'm saying? But then the bigger picture is let's get this money, you know what I'm saying? Well, well, yeah, because, you know, you guys had three platinum singles, and, and y'all are fighting over a $50 back check. 
I yeah. mean, really, when you say it out loud, that's really what it is. Over fifty dollars, because or, or I mean, that's the maximum amount for a bag check. Yeah, it's horrible. We're, we're not talking about a hundred thousand dollars, like Hell they all nah. beefing over. This Hell is fifty nah. bucks. You know, what I mean, like yeah. <laughs> after all this success, after two, yeah, you know, me. two successful albums, you know, because most, well, let's be honest, most artists are lucky to get one, one hit single. Y'all had three. And, and some other shit that charted good, and you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. really, there's a, there's a bunch of successful shit on here. Um, they uh, they came, police came to try to lock me up, take me all the way down at the bottom, bottom. You know what I'm saying? They was like, he gonna press charges on me, whatever, whatever. He didn't press charges on me, so you know what I'm saying? I salute him for that. Yeah, you know I mean, 100 though. Hey, but yeah, like, bruh, niggas is broke right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, so well, y'all couldn't work it out after that. I mean, it's one fight. That's what I'm saying. I'm on some shit with you on, like, bro. I'm on. Some, I didn't even know that that's what we fell out for. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't heard around from some people that he said it was over some girl. I mean, nigga, I don't even give a fuck about no bitches. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you talking about? So then, like, I think he just opened up. You know what I'm saying? The last time, you know, he promised to do the group. You know what I'm saying? And, you know. He was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? I fell for his little trap, you know what I'm saying? Once again, because he promised to do the group a lot, several times, you know what I'm saying? After like our major success, you know what I'm saying? And we just never, you know what I'm saying, made it happen, you know what I'm saying? The right way, like how we do it, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? He opened up and told me, you know what I'm saying? That's what it was over. So I'm just like, damn, bro, that's fucked up. Okay, but, uh, so, so the group breaks up. Yeah, but like, like, besides all that, he had a girlfriend named Tanache. You know what I'm saying? Tanache, you know, was always in his head. You know Tanache, what I'm who? The singer Tanache? Mm hmm. The same, the same Tanache. She was always there. in his head, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? It may have been other shit more than that, you know what I'm saying? It may not just been that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure she was all in his head telling him he was better than me, you know what I'm saying? He don't need to do like the kitty shit, like, do Disney Channel or like, Nickelodeon or just that shit like, you know what I'm saying? Like you much more, you know what I'm saying, by yourself, you could be greater, like promoting him to be by himself, do shit like that, you know what I'm saying? All the shit that she doing now, she was telling him not to do, you know what I'm saying? I really hate that bitch, you know what I mean? I don't like that bitch at all, but you know, I respect her grind, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, these bitches are snakes, you know what I'm saying? They they scam us niggas, you gotta be, you gotta be out here, you gotta be on your toes, you know what I'm saying? Cause just like they did Rob Kardashian, they scam us. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So. So the group breaks up, but didn't you still owe some more albums to, to the yeah. label? Hell yeah. So that's what I'm on. I'm like, nigga, we done sold our life away, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Can we get out this contract, my nigga? Like, and, and what you are you doing? He you like, couldn't? he like, man, it's not about the money, man. It's not this and not that. Like, I'm like, what? I said, bro, I got a daughter. I got a whole daughter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do you not care about my daughter? But you know what I'm saying? Another man ain't supposed to care about your situation. So I had to learn that. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. hey, I'm still in a contract. We owe three more albums. You know you what I'm saying? You owe three more albums. Okay. Three more albums. So you go from being a, a platinum artist to homeless. Hell yeah. Sleeping in cars. Sleeping in cars, sleeping in trucks, you know what I'm saying? Down and out, you know what I'm saying? Almost sleeping in the rain. Like, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, like, I got a record label and all, but they don't help me. They don't help me, you know what I'm saying? I mean, shit, when it comes down to an emergency, they're there. I will say that. They are there if it's an emergency. So, you know what I'm saying? So the, the label is what, Warner Brothers? Warner Music Group, Shoddy Records, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So whatever you want to call it, but you know, shit. You know what I mean? We independent artists. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shit, I'm signed, but like, they don't treat me like I'm signed. Like, nigga, I'm out here like an independent artist. You know what I'm saying? Everything coming out of my pocket. You know what I'm saying? They not gonna jump on nothing until you know what I'm saying? It's buzzing. You know what I'm saying? I be wondering why. Like. You know what I'm saying? Why don't you just help me out like right now with, you know what I'm saying, my success? Nigga, put me with this artist, this artist, this artist. Like, let's do this. Give me this beat, give me this beat, that beat, that beat. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, invest it to this video. You know what I'm saying? But shit, they don't do that. They pay me all my money, all the monies that I earn. You know what I'm saying? That's my shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whatever. And they pay it to me when they want to. 
or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They talk about these quarters and shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. It is what it is. Every quarter. I, 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 okay. You know what I'm saying? So at one point, you were pimping. Pimping? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do my thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm down and out. Yeah, I had to... Uh, Shit, you know what I'm saying? I hit rock bottom, you know what I'm saying? And shit, I ain't got nothing else, you know what I'm saying? But my fans, you know what I'm saying? All these girls that claim they love me, they like me, and they wanna, you know what I'm saying? Blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? All this shit. So, I mean, if you really love me, you know what I'm saying? Shit, show me you love me. And I, like, you know what I'm saying? I really wasn't like, I didn't know no game, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know nothing after, you know what I'm saying? This whole new boy shit, I didn't know the street life, nothing. So, and I kind of ran into some girls who knew more game than me, you know what I'm saying? Who kind of put me on who wanted to be used, uh, you know what I'm saying? You, like, yeah. these girls wanted to be used, and it's kind of crazy, like, like, the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? So. I mean, I, I know pimps. You feel you me? I'll I mean? be in a situation, you know what I'm saying, to collect some dough. Right. I mean, I, I'm, I'm cool with Don Magic Juan. You, you feel know? me? We, Shout we, out uh, to Oprah We texted the text other day, but you know, the thing about pimping is it's not really as glamorous as people make, a, make yeah. it out to be. Yeah. You, you gotta go through a lot of bullshit. Yeah, hell these yeah. These females. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? If you can't deal with a female's attitude, then you're not made out to be a female. You know what I'm saying? Because they come with a lot of drama. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's in you, not on you. Like I said, I'm, you know what I'm saying? It's in me. You know what I'm saying? The pimping is in me. I'm not the pimping, though. Nah, man. You know no, nor, nor do you want to be, yeah. honestly. Nah, it, it ain't, like, you know, it don't have a long shelf life. It, it doesn't. It, it, it really doesn't, doesn't. You know what I'm saying? But. Okay. So then I guess you had, you were arrested in 2014. Yeah. You had like was, three warrants out. Yeah, hell yeah. Did you get locked up over that or? I got a lot of warrants out still. You know what I'm saying? I've been to jail like six times after this new boy shit. Six times for, for what? Yeah, just like little traffic warrants and shit. They be wanting to lock me up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I didn't got a, a, a I caught a little charge in Las Vegas. Uh, fucking attempted to sell some weed. You know what I'm saying? Like, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? I, like, well, I'm new it, to this street shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta understand, like, I was, I'm a famous dude, picked, picked up straight out of high school. You know what I'm saying? I missed the whole street life. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So I'm famous, but like, now, like, after this shit, when, like, you know what I'm saying? You, like, dropped off after this shit, like, now, what we gonna do? Like, me and you ain't rapping together. Like, what we gonna do? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do my music shit, do my music shit, live off my earnings and everything that I'm getting, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to spend every fucking dollar. I want to make new money, but I'm not about to go slave at nobody's job because, nigga, every time I turn around, somebody be like, Ben J. <laughs> Why is that motherfucker for the new boys? Like, nigga, oh, shit, hold on. Nigga, that hurt. <laughs> Let me put it on social media. That boy that hurt my self-esteem so bad, but you know what? Hey, humble myself. That's what I've been having to learn. I got to humble myself, you know? Yeah. So what happened in April? April 2017. April, April of, uh, of this year. So, you know, I was selling weed. You know what I'm saying? I was trapping. You know, I'm selling weed out uh, where I stay. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know too much about the street life. But I do know you got to protect yourself. That's one thing I do know. So, you know what I'm saying? My homie sold me a gun. You know what I'm saying? And shit, from then on, I didn't have this fucking gun, you know what I'm saying, with me. I don't know what to do with it. I ain't never shot it. I ain't never did nothing with it. Like, it's just there. You know what I'm saying? But I got all this weed. I got all this jewelry. I got all this money. I, I got a white girl living with me. You know what I'm saying? I got cute girls that be, you know what I'm saying, in my house, like my sister, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whoever. People will see me. I'm a, People know me, and, and, like, I don't know how to sell weed like that. Well, I do now. I know how to sell weed now, <laughs> but, like, then I was, like, tripping, like, I was, I had like cars and shit. <laughs> I was passing out cars, whatever. Like, nigga, hit me up, nigga. <laughs> hit me up, whatever. I got the dro. You know what I'm saying? I'm living off my rap checks. You know what I'm saying? I'm flipping it on pounds. You know what I'm saying? I'm pimping. I'm whatever, trying to get the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm with it all. Like, nigga, <clears throat> I ain't jugging and robbing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that kind of person. Nothing like that. So, you know what I'm saying? I just shot a music video. Boodles, you know what I'm saying? That was my song. I just like fed the whole apartment complex, you know what I'm saying? I just uh, smoked everybody out. <laughs> you feel me? I was the man. Mm-hmm. I was the man. But uh, shit, I feel like um, some people I was like selling some weed to kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Put a bug in some people's ear that, you know, B and J, you know what I mean? Live in an apartment complex or whatever the case, you know what I'm saying? Da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? I, honestly feel like it was some shorties, you know what I'm saying, some girls or whatever. Okay. What happened next? 
<sighs> what happened next, man? Some niggas, you know what I'm saying? Try to rob me, bruh. So they broke in the house. Hold on, bro. This shit get emotional. Yeah. You got a map? Fuck what happened in August. I'm tripping by my sister was there. Right, you're, you're, uh, <clears throat> your little sister is in the house. How old is she at the time? She's 21, bro. Mm -hmm. Cause if something happened to me, something happened to my sister, you upset? Like, blood, like. Like, I'm a gangster, like, you know what I'm saying? But that's not what I want to be tr portrayed as, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't no gang member or nothing. Like, my family, you know, they gang bang, you know what I'm saying? My dad's side, they crips, my mom's side, they blood, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I'm from the streets. I know to protect myself. But, like, some niggas, like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Fake me out, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Nigga, call me for some weed, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me get an eighth, nigga. You was supposed to be in showed up, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm like, all right, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I've been serving all day. <laughs> like, nigga, trapping all day. I be making hella bread. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, nigga everybody want to buy from Ben J. Everybody want their plug to be Ben J. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's cool. <sighs> I remember, I think it was like some, some nigga tried to play like a fan. Like, nigga, like, I remember, like, you know what I'm saying? Some like, bro, he was like, yeah, bro, you know what I'm saying? I'm a fan of the music, da 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, like, he was like, man, you know what I'm saying? You got the studio, you know what I'm saying? You, got, you know, I'm a nice person. I'm like, yeah, bro, yeah, I got a studio, I'm smiling. You know what I'm saying? I got a studio, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga, I'm looking for artists, you know what I'm saying? Da da this. Yeah, I'm just welcoming people, like, you know what I'm saying? That's fucked up, like, you know what I'm saying? Damn, I was so vulnerable. And he, what, what happened at that point? I don't, I don't even know if it was that dude, but like, I remember that, like, that situation it hit me so, so. I think they sent their family or set somebody up or whatever to come rob me, you know what I'm saying, whatever. So that night, they end up calling me like, you know what I'm saying, like, oh, my bad, you know what I'm saying, for yanking your chain, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, shit, you know what I'm saying. Let me get another eighth, you know what I'm saying, on top of that, like, you know what I'm saying, I'm supposed to be in stop selling weed, it's all late and shit like that, but I'm like, nigga, I need some money, I'm hungry, nigga, <laughs> whatever, so I'm like, you want another eighth? Like, this shit don't make sense, <laughs> but that's like $80, <laughs> nigga, like, whatever, nigga, I'm gonna get this old little chump change, you know what I'm saying, after I was making millions, you know what I'm saying, it's fucked up. <sighs> Boy, you can understand how I feel right now? So what happened then? So another Something group of dudes so, came over? Yeah, they uh yeah, around like twelve o'clock in the morning, knocking on the door, doo doo doo. You know what I'm saying? Like my TV was loud, I was getting drunk, you know what I'm saying? I was just playing Grand Theft Auto and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, online. By the way, my PSN, Ben Frank De Nero, you know what I'm saying? Follow me, Ben Frank De Nero on PlayStation 4. But uh Man, I was just getting off the game and I just like got the phone call. So I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? So I made out the uh, extra eighth. And then, uh, shit, I put on my, uh, I went to go put on my uh, my jacket. You know what I'm saying? And then I, uh, I, I was looking at my uh, gun. I'm like, I grab it. And I started looking at myself and, and <laughs> Shit crazy, bro. Like, I'm kind of happy. Like, I, I came out on top, but like, don't even think. You know, I'm not one second happy about this shit. But like, nigga, I look at myself in the mirror, like, with the gun, like, like, it started pointing at the gun, like, I mean, at the mirror, like, whatever, like, like this. And like, then I had the, the weed in my hand, like, which way should I hand it off? Like, the weed, just in case, like, they try to pull some slick shit. Like, how should I, like, hand the weed off and how should I hold my gun? Like, so I'm like, should I do it with this hand, my right hand? Like, cause I'm right-handed. And hand the weed off like this, but it just didn't feel right. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, 
they wouldn't expect it with the left. You feel me? So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna hand the weed off with the left, with the right, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot my. You know what I'm saying? This is how I'm practicing. I'm practicing. <laughs> this shit crazy. I'm gonna shoot the uh, with my left, and then so like they said, meet me in the back. I'm like, nah, hell no, nah. meet me in the middle. So I'm prepared to go outside. So, you know, I'm walking in the, uh, the living room and shit, you know, and then like, you know, I hear a little small tap on the door, like two, 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 and I'm drunk. I'm drunk, you know what I'm saying? Like, my TV loud, but like, you ever got that feeling when you just hear something? Yeah. So, I'm like, this can't be, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't say that, but I'm just like, so I walked to the door. You know what I'm saying? My uh my little my little thing wasn't on the door, the latch thing, it wasn't mm -hmm. on the door. I always put it on the damn door. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then like if I was to look out the window, I can see them. And if I was to see, look out this window, I can see who's on my damn yeah. I didn't do none of that, bro. <laughs> so I opened the door, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? My gun in my goddamn hand, like how I was doing it. This nigga, I opened the door, this nigga rushed in like this, like instantly, like, what's up now? And he had a Smith and Weston, like a long barrel, whatever. And shit like, touched like my head, like cold as fuck and kind of like pushed me, like pu pushed me in, like, you know what I'm saying? So he kind of like c came in my house. But like, and like, I don't know, my mom said he was starstruck, you know what I'm saying? Because he was like, if he was really with it, he would probably lay me out. Did, did his dirt, but he was like, what's up now? Like, somebody I had never met, like a big ass nigga, he big, like, the fuck type of nigga is this? Who sent this guy? You know what I'm saying? The devil really sent his henchmen, you know what I'm saying? Like, wow. So, you know, because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a warrior, I'm a fighter for God, straight up, you know what I'm saying? 100%, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know what I'm saying? He said, what's up now? You know what I'm saying? And I know, like, everything is right behind me. Like, my, my apartment's small. You can get everything. Like, I got weed. I got money. I got everything. Just laid out TV, PlayStations. I got every fucking thing. You, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm sure he, he wanted to, you know what I'm saying, probably slap me up. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever he wanted to do with me. You know what I'm saying? Torture me. You know what I'm saying? They didn't kill me. They ain't had no mask. He ain't had no mask So, on. it was just one dude? It was just one dude. You know what I'm saying? So far. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He came in, you know what I'm saying? But then, boom! You know what I'm saying? Shoot. And this nigga went falling. Like, went falling. I shot that nigga. Because you still had the gun in your hand the whole time. Yeah. And he never noticed it. Never noticed it. I just, boom, just shot that nigga. And like, I just didn't want to make sure he'd get, get back up. You know what I'm saying? And I just shot him again, like, boom. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was scared as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like. I dodged all the blood, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, oh, 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 like, you know what I'm saying? I had the, I had the sauce on the one time, you know what I'm saying? I dodged all the blood, but I ain't want to get no blood on my shoes or nothing like that. But uh, this shit was crazy. This nigga fell instantly on my floor. Like, like, wow. Shot him again, boom. You're done. No more, no longer. You're not coming back, bro. You yep. should never came in my house. And this is how I'm feeling. And I closed my door, just make sure nobody else would come in. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, I was scared as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because well, your sister is in the other room. But listen, I forgot my sister was here after all this just happened. Right, because your adrenaline is going off. And... Yeah, so I was scared to go outside. So I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? I know people heard this gunshot just go off. You know what I'm saying? Two of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It stink. Like, this shit crazy. Right, it's in the middle of an apart apartment complex, yeah, right? Yeah, this shit crazy. So I open the door again. Like, I open the door, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, I start running downstairs. Like, I go out. I run downstairs with my gun, like, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, I look this way. Yeah, because this way is going through the apartments. This way is the parking lot where my car is parked and like the fence and you can go somewhere else, you know what I'm saying? But as I was running downstairs, I seen his partner, you know what I'm saying, running. You know what I'm saying? Like this, he was jogging, like to make sure I was his boy and I was still alive. 
that he was still alive or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I seen his partner and I looked like, what the fuck? It was another thing. <laughs> I, I wanted to gun him down. I wanted to kill him. I wanted to shoot him. Right. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? But that would have been murder. And I don't know who thinks about that, but I thought about that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 100 yeah. though. So I went the opposite way and I was running for my motherfucking life. You know what I'm saying? I hopped the fence and it was this bum bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, was that you making all that noise? A uh, bum lady. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm still I'm running, running for my life. I'm calling my homie, like, doo, 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 doo. like, bro, 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 get down here, get down here. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I just killed somebody, <laughs> nigga. Some niggas laid out in my motherfucking kitchen, nigga. Bring your ass here right now. You know what I'm saying? And I said, my motherfucking sister, that I'm like, my my motherfucking sister. <laughs> like You just realized it at that point. Yeah. yeah. I already hopped the fence. I'm always all the way down the street. <laughs> I must have ran back so motherfucking fast, jumped the fence again. I could not believe I left my fucking sister. So I just made sure, like, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? I ran in there. He was still laid down. Nobody was in my goddamn house. I was making sure nobody was in there. You know what I'm saying? But he was laid out dead in my damn kitchen, bleeding. You know what I'm saying? I had some bunny rabbits that was in my kitchen. You know what I'm saying? I know they was traumatized. You know what I'm saying? The bunny rabbits just watched all this go down. They just watched all that go down. So. Man, that's sad for them. But uh, I went to run in a room, and my sister was naked, like like butt naked. Like I'm like, <gasps> like and then just even seeing her like that, just just fucked me up. Like like oh my god, because if it was the other way around, and she was, you know, they ran in the whole house, and she was butt naked. That would have right. been slaughter. It would have been it would have been it would have been horrible for me and my sister. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, I just told her, you know, get dressed, pack it, pack up everything. You know what I'm saying? Get all your shit. This is her first time visiting me in Las Vegas, ever coming in my apartment or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I said, my girlfriend working in a strip club. You know what I'm saying? I had her at work. She just telling me, like, it's a bad night. So I'm just like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? There's a whole bunch of shit going on right now. Oh, okay. So did you call the police at that point? Uh, shit, nah, see, what happened when after I called my homie, he, he arrived in like two minutes. This is the most fastest he ever came when I called him, you know what I'm saying? And he was just telling me he was just about to go rob somebody, you know what I'm saying, down in L.A., you know what I'm saying? We was living in Vegas, so he said he was just about to go hit a lick, you know what I'm saying? Luckily, he didn't go do that. He was like, man, I was just about to call you and be like, yo, let me see your gun, you know what I'm saying? But he was like, man, I already got a gun, the homie already got a gun. That would have been selfish. You know what I'm saying? To take your gun. So he said, man, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? So he was about to go ride off. But just as he was leaving my apartments, because he was really about to come ask me for my gun. As he was just leaving my apartments, I just called him. I just killed somebody. <laughs> like, bro, come here. Two minutes. So and I'm so scared, bro. I'm taking everything out the house with my name on it. I'm like, oh my God, yeah, everything with our name on it. Take my, everything, like, I don't want nobody. You know? I was like, whatever, whatever, grab everything. And it's so funny because I had big bags of shit, you know what I'm saying? And like, I was leaving evidence, tracks, you know what I'm saying, all through the, you know what I'm saying, the whole apartment complex. So, so. so are the neighbors coming outside or? Nobody no? came outside. Nobody wanted to get involved in that shit. No, I, guess. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't they, think they, so. they was probably scared. They probably was. Like, yeah. I thought they didn't hear it, but I'm like, God no, damn. No, you, you're going to hear two gunshots. Yeah. yeah. That shit was deep. So I say he took us to me and my sister to uh, his house, you know what I'm saying, down the street. You know, niggas was panicking. My drilling, my drilling was rushing like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm scared. I'm crying. I'm like, whatever. Why me? Why me? Why people want to shoot me? Why people want to kill me? Like, what the fuck, nigga? Like, nigga. <laughs> But I called my mom, tell my mom, like, everything, like, oh, my God, this just happened. You know what I'm saying? My sister called my girl, like, this just happened. So we ain't called the police yet, but, like, that was the whole thing with the police, like, you know what I'm saying? We like, all right, so what are we going to do? You know what I'm saying? How are we going to call the police? What the fuck is going to happen? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm going to go to jail forever. <laughs> like, I'm about to go to jail forever, bro. Forever. <laughs> like, my life is over. New Boys is over. Fuck everything. New boy's been over, but it's over. <laughs> like, nigga, BJ is over. Nigga, everything is over. I just killed somebody. But uh, they took me back to the apartments. They said, nigga, you have to, my mom said, you have to call the police, man. So just go back 
to her apartments, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying the homie said, you know what I'm saying, take the clip out the gun, put it in the rocks, put the gun in the rocks, separate it, uh, da da da, call the police, let them know what happened. This is like an hour after everything happened. So that was their whole thing. They was trying to figure out why the hell you waited a whole hour to call us. <laughs> they was about to sit me to fucking jail forever just for that reason. They was trying to figure out, like, you know what I'm saying, you was moving drugs, you was. But hell, you goddamn right I was putting the drugs in somebody's goddamn house. I wouldn't want y'all to come and see all this damn weed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I ain't telling them that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, man. I was scared. I was panicking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My sister. You know what I'm saying? I need to get my sister out the house. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck you thought I was going to do? Nigga, I'm not about to call y'all that right away. <laughs> like, I'm about to call my mama first. Nigga, I'm about to call my girl first. <laughs> nigga, I'm about to call yeah. the homies first. <laughs> like, nigga, you got okay. me fucked up. But, uh. They understood. They was like, yeah, man, the last case, you know what I'm saying, we uh, we uh, handled was over a weed case, you know what I'm saying, somebody died. It was a homicide just like this one. So Right, because his gun is still there, right? His gun was under him. It was under him. It was under him the whole time. So they was that was what they was trying to figure out. Where is his gun? Did he have a gun? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nigga, he had a motherfucking gun. <laughs> that shit is under him. Lift his big ass up. He stunk. Yeah, but... When you left, someone could have came in and grabbed his gun. Like his homie could have came and grabbed the gun, and then now you don't have a, you know, you don't got the weapon, and yeah, things was, could have gone real bad. Okay, but luckily they didn't. So the police came. Your story matches up with what they're seeing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hell yeah. So were you arrested at that point, or, or no? Nah, they just or? I was just questioning. I was at the first forty-eight room, and then uh, Warner Brothers sent a lawyer mm -hmm. real fast. Boom. I mean, but he didn't have to do nothing because, nigga, I said, told them the truth. Self-defense. Like, yeah. Like, my, my my friends, my sister, my girl, all of them was like, you know what I'm saying? No, he ain't said no weed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he wasn't doing nothing. I don't know. He don't know these people. Da, 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 da. I'm telling them. I had the weed, you know what I'm saying? I was, you know what I'm saying, doing this. I was big dog. I was shoot videos, nigga. So our stories don't match up. They was like, man, they about to get you in jail forever. <laughs> they like, okay. I said, man, tell them to shut up and cooperate. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. Tell them to start telling the truth. <laughs> I ain't nobody trying to go to jail, nigga. Okay, so they start telling the truth. Yeah, they. I mean, nah. No. They, they just shut up. They just shut they up. Just shut okay. Up. So did it go to trial or was fuck, there? No, no, no. trial. So, so the DA basically said that we're not pressing any charges. They said, fuck it. That's it. Open and shut case. Mm -hmm. Attempted robbery. The robber gets killed. They said, fuck it, we're bro. Not, we're not going to spend no time on this. Mm-mm. It's it a blessing too, like man. A absolutely. They, uh, I tried to call the uh, people to uh, come clean this shit. They said twelve hundred dollars that I did not have. They said, "Well, you got to clean it yourself." So, my girl wasn't there. She didn't get to experience what we experienced. Me and my sister experienced. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So I made her clean the blood up. So, so there she because can... there was blood everywhere. Exactly. I'm like clean this shit. <laughs> well, and you guys went and moved right back in. Fuck no. I, right. I, I packed up my whole fam and uh, we took off, you know what I'm saying, across the uh, states, you know what I'm saying, straight up. I went to the east, you know what I'm saying, down south. Well, yeah, you moved to Atlanta, I guess. I was in, I was in Miami, then I was in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, and I'm still, like, I don't have no home right now, you know what I'm saying, so I'm like, I'm in and out the studio 24-7 just so I can get, like, shit off my chest, you know what I'm saying, I don't... I don't know, you know, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get stable for my daughter, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying, until then, you know what I'm saying? I'm working on myself, you know what I'm saying? As a father, as a, as a man, you know what I'm saying? I'm working on my music, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting better and better every day, like I told my partner Legacy, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I get better and better every day, like, nigga. Well, you said that you got, that you were getting death threats? I get death threats every day. What kind of death threats? Like, nigga. You know what I'm saying? When we see you, I'ma kill you, you know what I'm saying? You got the green light on you, you and your whole family. Like my my mom and them and my whole family live in the city where the dude and his family is from. So, you know what I'm saying? Like that's that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I even my baby mama I even got I heard, you know what I'm saying, people trying to hold my baby mama, my daughter for ransom. You know what I'm Wait, saying? That actually happened? No, that that uh that it was attempts that they that they wanted to, you know what I'm saying. So someone tried to kidnap him? Like, not like that, but like the word was around that okay. this was going to happen. It never happened, but like, yeah, thank you know God. what I'm saying? Like, you know, hell yeah, thank God. I ain't got no money to get nobody. Like, nigga, like, nigga, let me get some dough first. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
then we'll see what's up. But other than that, nigga, I'm about to move my whole family out this motherfucker. Uh, like, you know, I, I understand that, you know, people people might feel some type of way because they, they may have, you know, been close to that person. Yeah. But I think on a certain level, if your friend got killed trying to rob somebody, you kind of have to just take it as that. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. You got to have to say, well, he kind of got what he deserved. You know, he, he, you know what I mean? You come in, you walk into a situation with a gun. At that point, it is what it is. Hell yeah. And, you know, I think that a lot of people may talk and may talk some shit. Fuck but I don't, I don't think motherfuckers really going to do nothing in that type of situation. Hell yeah. Like, man, I, I don't want to portray myself as no killer. You know what I'm saying? But I'm a protector. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I protect. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Me and my family and shit, whoever is close to me, you know what I'm saying? I know how to do that, you know what I'm saying? That much, you know what I'm saying? So. Guys, you're okay, man. Thank you, man. And, it's a uh, blessing. You know, I, I think uh, I think you did the right thing. Man. Honestly. Thank you so much, you know, brother. I, I think that, uh, you know, uh, I would have done the exact same thing. Hey, if you was in my position, you better had. <laughs> yeah. Shoot, Absolutely, dog. man. But other than that, man, I'm working on this goddamn project called uh, No More Mr. Nice Guy that I'm about to drop in February 2018. You know what I'm saying? So that's coming up. I mean, why don't the new boys get back together now? After everything, all the ups and downs, all the craziness, imagine how epic that would be. I you say know? it all the time, bro, but I think, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm, not, I'm like the gangster in a group and a family. I think people depend on me. You know what I'm saying? They want me to test the waters and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I think my partner is like, kind of like, shy still like he don't have that confidence you know what i'm saying i gotta show him that you know what i'm saying like listen your partner is popping so i gotta get popping for him to be like because he popping already but he just don't feel popping you know what i'm saying so i gotta let him know he popping by me getting out there being popping i mean how much success has he had as a solo artist no huh? how much success have you had as a solo artist i'm i got probably a little bit more to him but right huh? how much success have y'all had as a group Way more than what we're trying see to do what I'm right saying? now. Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, it just is what it is at a certain point. It's like, you know, if, if you have something that works, you should stick with what works. Yeah, you're right, bro. You know? So hopefully he going to see this and hear, hear what I'm saying, hear what you're saying. And, you know? Ben J, man, I appreciate you telling the story. It's a, it's a powerful story. Hey, and, man. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad your, your sister's okay. I'm glad that your daughter still has a father. Thank you so much, bro. That's that's. You know, I'm glad your mother has a son. That that's yeah. that's catastrophic. You know, to lose somebody like you know to lose a a child. I need a I need I need a movie. Yeah. I need I a agree. serious movie, bro. I like, agree. I need somebody to write the story. Like I gotta. Well, we I'm about to gave, write a book. We just too. gave him the script just now. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Here's the script right here. Thank you, bro. You know. There you go. I'm up. That's, that's <laughs> what it is, Ben J. Man, I appreciate you coming in. Hey. One hundred. <laughs>